Hi guys, Jeff here from TAP. Just got a case study in the workshop today, so I wanted to share with you about the power of our scan tools. This particular vehicle is a 2004 Mercedes uh, E320, and it's come in with some mirror problems. So the passenger side mirror uh, is not operational, and we've also found out that the driver's one is also not working 100% correctly. So just want to show you how with a scan tool we can do most of our diagnostics with our scan tool without actually pulling anything apart. So first thing we have to remember, we can make sure we put a battery uh, monitoring system onto the battery, or battery maintainer, charge unit, whatever you want to call it. This one is the GYS, it's 120 amp. We've got that on diagnostic mode, so it's going to keep and maintain that battery voltage at the correct level whilst we do all this uh, scanning and, and, uh, and actuation testing, etc. So what we've done, we're using our auto logic scan tool in this particular case, but please, we've got the G-Scan, I've got the Snap-on, I've got the Autel, I've tried it all on here, and pretty much they all do the same thing in slightly different ways. So don't be afraid of whichever scan tool you've got to use your scan tools to actually diagnose this particular problem. So we've got our ignition on, we've got the car scanned in, we've got the correct uh, VIN number in there, so we're just looking at the vehicle now. So that's our main screen. So what we want to do in this particular case is seats and doors. So depending on your scan tool, what you want to do is we want to find the door module. So we're looking for the driver's side door module initially to check what's happening there. So we've got our door control module here, front right hand side. So we're just going to click on that and have a look inside the module which is in the, this particular door. What we want to have a look at is actual value. So what is the module seeing? So if we click onto that, we can then see what uh, module and we're looking at our exterior rear view mirrors. Again, we're looking at our lens adjustment, what's happening with it. So we can see that not, not operational there, but if I get the switch and just activate it, we can see that we can go our up positions being uh, seen by the, by the module, our down is being seen by the module, our left, uh, our right side is being seen by the module, and our left side is being seen by the module. Interesting enough, on this particular car, only the left and right is operational. The up and down's not working. So we can see that the module is receiving that information. We know our switch is good. So if we go back from here, now we want to, get, want to, want to go to is our actuation. So we go here to actuation. So if back in that right hand uh, door module, we want to go to actuations to see now, can we actually activate this particular mirror? External mirrors there again. We want to go mirror adjustment lens adjustment and we can go left right up and down so again if we go left we just press the left button we can actually see over there that the mirror is actually working or we'll go right hand side we can see the mirror adjust so from left and right we know that that's operational if we go up press the up button we can see the mirror is not doing anything and again the down button mirror is not doing anything so what we now know for this driver side is our module is receiving the information from the switch up down left and right we know that the up and down is working, or left and right is working, the opposite's not. So pretty confident we've got a problem in that particular mirror. If we look at that one from the other side of the car, so we want to go back out of here, and we want to find the uh, module on the other side of the car. So now we're looking at door module front left-hand side. And let's see what's happening over there. That's where we've got no operation on this particular vehicle at all. Fault codes, again, we do have some fault codes in, in the vehicle. In this particular case, we want to look at actual values. Again, what's happening in that module. We want to look at exterior rear view mirrors. We want to look at lens adjustments again. So again, if I now operate the switch and we go to passenger side, and we go uh, down, we can see that it's receiving the signal there to go down. It's receiving the signal to go up. We have a signal to go into the uh, left. And we have a signal there to go to the right. So again, we can see that the module in that passenger side door is actually receiving that information. So we've confirmed now that we've got a good switch. Our driver side module is communicating via CAN bus to the left hand side module, and our module is receiving that information. Mirror is still not working. So we're honing it down. What we want to now go to is now to actuations on that side as well. So back out of here, back to actuation. So now we want to try and activate that mirror to see what's actually happening to it. External rear view mirror again. We want to go to lens adjustment and again we have the same thing again we can go left again nothing happens on the other side no voltage is being received by the motors in that mirror right hand side the same up and or down so nothing's happening in regards to voltages being received by that motor so interestingly enough now we can confirm that our module is receiving the data on that side we can ask the module to move the mirror it's not working so i'm pretty confident we've got a problem in the mirror that led us to go and have a look at the mirror, so come on over and we'll see what we found. Again, pretty easy to get to. In this particular case, we can pull the door 
door thing part. Got an access here which gets us right into the modules. You can see that the module's in the door there with all the plugs, etc. So if you need to get into that, we can get into that, but we don't need to. We get into the back side of the, the motor here. And if you have a look in there, you can see in there, shine right into there, you can see that there's a number of broken wires in that this particular case here, right in there. Right where my screwdriver is pointing, you can see there's a broken wire just there. And a number of them just come back a bit there, Rome, so you might get that focus. Yeah, so there's a number of broken wires in this harness here, which is what's actually causing that particular problem. So with our scan tool, we haven't pulled too much apart, we've been able to diagnose these problems. So don't forget actuations with your scan tool. Most modern scan tools now will allow you to go into these modules and actually turn on, turn off, indicator lights, mirrors in, mirrors out, mirrors up, down, in and out, door lights, windows, etc. So if you've got a problem in a door in particular or a tailgate or whatever, find the module, use your actuations and your, and your live data, etc. to determine what's working and what's not working. Hopefully that's helped you out, guys. See you next time.